Right, today we're going to look at creating a single slide advent calendar. We're using PowerPoint 2013 edition and we're going to make use of a couple of new panes that we might not have seen before. The animation pane which we have and the selection pane which we haven't seen before. Now the first thing we need to do is to create some buttons. So the button design is up to you. Um, probably just as quickly add in some shapes. So if we just add in some shapes, they can be anything at all you want. You want to use rectangles, squares, or whatever else. The same goes for the colour, so I'm going to just add in a couple of buttons. Uh, we could do this from here as well, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of putting in what we want to put in. So I'm going to add in four or five. You would have to add in all your buttons at this point. Okay, and again, as you're inserting your buttons, there's no reason why you have to stick with the same uh, colours that are here. You can use any colour you want. So, uh, what after? Something like that, I think. Okay, and as you add them in, you get to fill in anything you want. So, you can fill in the colours. I think maybe a red. Oh, red's quite nice. And etc. So, they're all sort of filled in just generally the way you want to. Then we have to decide on numbers. So, all you do is you click on it, you press the number. Okay, so those are the numbers added in. If you want to make the numbers bigger, then just click on the object, go to the home button, and we can add it. Again, we can change the colours of the numbers if we want. If we want to make some bigger or smaller, we can do all that sort of thing. So, oops, my bad. We can even change the fonts. So all I'm going to do just now is just make all these buttons. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Slightly different. Um, and we're just going to fill in the different colours, or the different buttons, that start up there, I think we make, might make that white, so format, uh, fill the shape, we want to fill it in, white, uh, just a sort of off-white colour, ah, let's go white, fill the text black. Okay, so we're going to something like that, so it's nice and simple. This one here, we're going to do something a wee bit different, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the fill colour, I'm going to fill this one in, transparent. Okay, so all I'm going to do is shape fill, no fill. Now what we have is just number two, but without anything else around about it. So we've got three different shapes, which is great. We now want to use these shapes to trigger events, but before we do that, we have to have a look at the anime, the selection pane. So we go to selection, selection pane, and these then all pop up, and they're all called all these names, and you'll see as we click on the different names, that they highlight and all we're going to do is click on one, look over, see what one it's highlighting and then just name it. So I'm just going to name that day one. Okay. Click the next one, find out what it is and day four. Click the next one, find out what it is. Day two. Find the next one, find out what it is, day three. And this one here is background. Okay. And that's just so that when we go looking up these later on, we'll be able to see exactly what it is. Just check they are what you think they are by clicking on them again, and you should see that the highlight selection changes to the right one. Right. Let's get some toys in here. So let's insert online pictures. I think a nice sleigh might be good. So, and you don't have to just use, uh, let's insert that sleigh. We don't have to put them up here. We can stick it down there. So I'm happy enough with that. And you know what? I think what I'm going to call is going to use, call that gift one. So on the selection panel, so I don't know what it is, gift one. Okay, and we can simply work our way through now inserting in one picture for each thing. Now the web connection is a wee bit slow today so it might not appear. Remember to scale these down and you can put them down. Uh, that one looks quite good but I'm sitting thinking it might be better if I just remove the background on that, 
So I've hit remove background. I want the dog. I want the Santa look. I just don't want the background. So I've got that all selected the way I want it. Keep the changes. Now what I can do is... going to make it there and again click on it give it a name this is going to be gift 2 and we'll do another one uh, just a regular one online pictures uh, oh, I wonder if Xbox will be in there okay cancel that Xbox Excuse me. Shrink that down to size. That might be quite good up in window three. Just sort of appears there like that. And again, I can move the background if you want, but it's going to be fine like that. So just change it to gift three. Right now we want to actually go ahead and start creating some animations so first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the thing we want to appear so we can see that this is gift two so let's do gift one first so we're going to do gift one we're going to do an animation and i think i quite like this to float in okay put on the animation pane and i want gift one to float in a bit options a bit of fast Down. Yeah, that's cool. Not too bad. Then I need to set a trigger, so I'm going to set a trigger on the click of day one. Okay, so when we click on day one, the sleigh is going to appear. We would also quite like it if day one maybe, I don't know, fade the way. We don't need to do one anymore, so we can get rid of that. So we're then going to click on day one. We're going to add an animation and we're just going to make it fade out. So day one is just going to fade. And again, we're going to set the trigger to the click of day one. But this time, we have to make sure we change the, the animation so it starts after the previous. Now, if that, or sorry, or, or with the previous. Okay, so now what we've got is this effect. So when we click on one, This layer appears down the bottom here. You'll notice that the dog, etc., is still there. That's because we've not added entrance effects. So we can go ahead and add entrance effects. So it's just a matter of hitting appear for that particular object. Oh, gift 2. We want the appear, the trigger on the click of D2. We then want D2. Do you want to keep that there? No, let's get rid of that so we can animate it. We're going to add the animation for an exit. It's going to have it disappear. We're going to trigger that on the click of day two. So you can now see we've got the triggers. And again, just remember, we have to do this with previous. Okay? So we'll just rattle through gift three, which I can't remember what gift three was, but just click on gift three, gift three, the Xbox here. And I want the Xbox to appear again. Trigger as a click of day three. And then we want day three. Because I can't really see it because there, so I click on it, the selection pane. I'm going to add an animation. I'm going to make it. Uh, do you know what? I think it might make it bounce. So I'll just kind of bounce and go away. And there we go. So day three's done that. And add the trigger. Click of day three. Start with the previous. And now the whole thing should look like this. So day one. Click, slay appears. Oh, we can't click, it's gone. Day two, dog just pops out there. Might have been better animating that, but now we can see we don't have day two to click. Day three, bounces away, and we're left with an Xbox in its place. Okay? And day four, we've not animated. Now, what you'll notice there is when I clicked, it automatically moved on to the next slide, and there's no next side. Now that would be quite annoying if you're doing this as an actual thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into transitions and we're going to turn off on mouse click. Now what we've got is the user can click anywhere they want. It doesn't move. But when they hit a shape, 
the right ones appear. And that's it. Advent calendar on one slide for the, well, for our second year classes.